think one of the biggest challenges facing mid-level managers today is how to motivate employees. So how do we get employees to find meaning in the work that they're doing, um, to understand that even when they are working on something that may seem really mundane or kind of disconnected from the rest of the work they're doing, how do we help them understand that the things they do have impact, that they have value, and that they're really a, a central player to the success of the organization. So rather than just thinking about extrinsic motivators, you know, money and, and paying people more, how can we how can we change the question of why people work? Let's make it less about I work because I want a paycheck and let's make it more about I work because I am having a meaningful impact in the lives of the people I'm working with, um, employees and, and even the broader community that uh, this company is a part of. I think it impacts leaders, turbulence impacts leaders in a variety of ways because anytime you interject uncertainty into the work environment, leaders have to, managers have to ask themselves several things. You know, what does this mean for myself? What does this mean for the company? And then what does this mean for the people that I'm in charge of? So anytime we see ambiguity, people are going to have questions, they're going to maybe start mistrusting management. Uh, and so when leaders are, are processing what turbulence means, I think they need to ask themselves, where is this coming from? What is the impact? And how can I minimize any of the impact or the burden that I'm feeling and my subordinates are feeling so we can keep energy up, keep enthusiasm up, and not have people start doubting you know, the very nature of the work that they're doing. So we often think of turbulence as a bad thing, right? So we often think about ambiguity or uncertainty as bad, but I think it really is an opportunity for change. And it's all about how we frame that change. So we can frame it as, you know, this is a threat, it's unclear how this is going to affect us, or we can view it as an opportunity to maybe try something new, to see, you know, what are different ways that we can think about our work? How can we maybe restructure the things that we've taken for granted or that we typically do? Um, and let's kind of reinvent things a little bit. And the great thing is that managers can bring their employees into the process. So rather than being the sole you know, thinkers about this issue, let's get the employees involved and have them uh, also understand the situation, understand what's creating the turbulence, and help generate situ or solutions, you know, ideas of how they're going to solve any particular issue that the organization is facing. Hi, my name is Allison Gabriel. I'm an associate professor at the University of Arizona in the Management and Organizations Department, and I'm here teaching at the High Impact Leadership Program on motivation at work.